Hello, so happy Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the year. So cool, hump, happy hump day, well-being Wednesday, whatever everyone calls it. Don't even know these days. So um, I'm just up in my art studio, did a little painting. I've got kind of all sorts of different projects on the go. So I've got a big, it's, this whole place is a mess. And I love that it's a mess because I love that I, ha I plan to tidy up all the time. I plan to declutter and work out where everything goes. But when I come up to so-called tidy up, I just get involved with making art. And towards the end of last year, I wasn't making as much art as I would have liked. Maybe doing kind of daily doodles and daily little drawings like that, but not really involved in any art. So I've got loads of unfinished projects that I'm in the middle of. And that's okay because I think sometimes it's okay not to finish a project and anyone that I work with as an art therapist in, in an art therapy setting I would, wouldn't would necessarily be expecting them to have perfect finished work anyway finished images, finished creations and my message to everyone is that it doesn't really matter about what the quality of the art is but it's more about the the process of the making and the expression and what it feels like to, to make a piece and the use of the different materials and things like that so I think that I'm practicing what I'm preaching and working on I've literally got um I'd probably say about 10 different things on the go yesterday I was painting pots today I've been doing some mod rock models doing bits of painting and it feels a little bit of a scattergun approach and <clears throat> For some people that, that wouldn't really work they'd maybe prefer to create a piece and then get to the end of as much as they can possibly do on that piece might need to wait for it to dry but before moving on to anything else but actually for many people who may kind of need a different approach dipping in and out of projects can be really inspiring and add interest and add a bit of a dopamine rush that you might really need so it's been quite fun to to stop and start with the projects and i'm really looking forward to getting stuck in with more of my own personal art projects this year but also i'm opening up the doors you can say that to to being able to work online with with people in an art therapy setting so um listen out for more information on that um, it's more for people that might be feeling a little bit stuck and maybe wanting to find ways to really launch and build on their lives and develop a bit more confidence with themselves and things like that rather than people that are kind of maybe at a mental health crisis I work in a mental health setting as well and work with lots of different young people who are experiencing kind of really quite chronic mental health difficulties but my online work would be maybe people that are already doing okay they're maybe not at crisis but actually needing a bit of a push so similar to my situation at the moment where i've been struggling with some things with my health and that's affected a little bit of my the way that i see myself a bit my confidence it's maybe th and things like hormones have really affect been affecting me as well like my hormone imbalance has been a little bit out of whack as a result of having fibroids and and so actually i found that art has been a an ideal way of of feeling quite feeling grounded and feeling more connected with myself and the world and others so i wanted to share that with other people because art is an amazing way of of helping with mental health and helping with well-being and to really boost self-esteem and to allow people to feel empowered and to feel like really strong as individuals so um, I'm looking forward to getting the details of that a little bit more ironed out um, and and yeah getting started with that um, as the weeks go on I suppose um, so look out for that um, other little projects on the go I've got um, some on an online course that I'm also making so if you've got any um any particular thing that you think you'd like to any questions or things that you'd like to learn about in that sort of course then let me know you, it may be something that is for you or it might not be 
but if you have any questions about art therapy that would be really really helpful for me to really be able to answer those sorts of questions and to be able to serve people as best as I possibly can so um, back to my painting I'm just doing a little, little thing little piece at the moment and um, take care bye for now